So in this spirit, let us discuss Janmashtami. So as we hear about Krishna's appearance in this world, let us appreciate who is Krishna. He has appeared on Janmashtami, especially to attract our hearts. And as Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna has given the ultimate emphasis on remembering Krishna as the son of Nanda, Sri Nanda Nandana, Yashoda Nanda in Vrindavan, but following in the footsteps of the great souls, not cheaply. We can't just become a gopi or a gopa. We can imagine it. But that doesn't even bring us much closer. It's through our surrender. It's through truly purifying ourselves through our service as the servant of the servant of the servant. And by truly purifying ourselves by eagerness to hear about Krishna and to chant his holy names. Satatam Kirtigantomam, Krishna says, always chant my names. Manmanabhavamadbhakto, always remember me. Are we able to do that? Yurtaniya Sadahari, constantly chanting Krishna's name. We could chant, but we're thinking so many things. Are we constantly chanting Krishna's names? That's only possible by Krishna's grace. Trinadapi sunichena turor ibasa yishnuna. Amani namana dena kirtaniya sadhari. That grace comes to us when we're truly aspiring to be even more humble than a blade of grass, even more forgiving and tolerant than a tree, devoid of any sense of false prestige, eager to appreciate and give respect to others, and not expect it or demand it ourselves when we're truly valuing this character as our goal, then Krishna reveals himself in his holy names. And we could chant constantly. <laughs>